Hello everybody, my name is Sebastian Boy Gaming, and welcome to episode 1 of Video Game Tutorials with XXB. Today we're going to be looking on some of the mechanics of Dark Souls 3. Uh, the, left, the first thing we do is talk about the level ups. Level ups. Oops. So, Figure increases HP, defense and resistances and the different defenses basically means the physical is anything a weapon while strikes would be hammers, clubs, striking with brute force. Slash is more weapons that you cut down like you slice through the skin like do a lot of damage for cut across a cut while thrust is more like rapiers and spears that I know of. Defense against magic is sorceries. Anything blue coming at you, it's a sorcery. Fire is fire, lightning is lightning. But most likely also holy damage will count under lightning. While dark is anything that exudes blackness, it's most likely a hex. Let's get to the resistances. Bleed is basically slash weapons cause bleed most of the time because it creates long cuts through the skin. Poison is poison. Frost, not something I'm really used to, but it's probably just freezing, cold damage. I don't know, kind of weird. Curse. I don't know because each game had a different version of course. So I'm not sure. Entunement uh, works on magic power and entunement slots. And what is the entunement slot? Is basically your sp spell magazine. Like your magazine can only take so many spells. So, one entombment means you can only have one spell active at any time. Two is two, and so forth. The next one, Endurance, increases your stamina, which is the green ball that when you run or do attack, it lowers. Vitality is equipment load, and what's equipment load is how much your character is able to weigh and still move. So anything under 49.9 or 50, I'm not sure, can't move. Or anything under, you can move. But there is a deduction every for every percentage. Like after 50%, you slow down by 25%, while after 75, you'll slow down by 50%, while at 90, you slow down by 75%, and after that, you slow down completely. You can't move. The next one, strength. Strength is strike or slash bonus damage. Anything big and clunky or just chops really hard, that's most likely a strength weapon. The next one, dexterity. Dexterities are the rapiers, the sl smaller slashing weapons and the spears and stuff while intelligence is how strong your sorceries are or weapons that have magic abilities with them how much extra damage you get from it while faith is basically the opposite version of intelligence Intelligence is based off of sorceries, while faith is based off of miracles, which are more healing capabilities than sorceries, just destructive slash espionage abilities. While luck is item discovery, which is basically think of a drop, and the better item discovery you have, the easier it is to get that drop. Okay, that's the level up system. Now let's look at the equipment setup. So, 
basically it tells you what it is under cell sword cell sword twin blades it's a curved sword which is paired and it's a slash type weapon so it's most likely ha gonna have a bigger dexterity boost because it's a small slash weapon underneath that spin slash is a magic ability or well, not so much a magic but a special ability which cause some FP which is I'm not real sure never used it the weight underneath is 5.5 the ability is how long the weapon can go on before it breaks on you physical damage is physical anything you hit physically is physical magic is intelligence faith is intelligence lightning is intelligence and faith fire is intelligence my bad and dark is faith and intelligence other one is gold absorption which is when you're in the blocking form of it it blocks that and the capability of blocking it our stability is your poise and if it's a bigger stability breaker than you have instability you stumble back and take damage a lot of damage I don't know what the additional effects are but on attribute bonus if you look over you see four symbols that you might not recognize but I can tell you the one on the left next to the E is strength while the one next to the C is dexterity while the next two are intelligence then faith and the higher level you have in the attribute bonuses the higher the bonus damage you'll get but looking at this special sword this specific sword it has a higher dexterity bonus so say if a person with one strength and ten decks and ten strength and one decks the person with one strength and ten decks would do quite a bit more damage with this specific weapon than the other person would Kabish. then I heard you say something about the Estus flask and how you only have three. Well, technically, if you pick this up from the first area, it's the thing that fills up the FP, which I don't really know how to use. So go to our friendly backsmith and press a lot of things. And you can switch over so you now have four Estus flasks. Okay. And that's all I can think of right now. But if any other big questions, I'll make another video game tutorial. And thank you guys for watching. I hope this answered your questions, D. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.